What's going on guys, this is Gene Jetson and I want to introduce you to my On The Water Innovations kayak trailer. All right, so backstory. A couple years ago, I called Denny and I was like, look, dude, or I contacted him on Facebook and I said, hey, look, I need a trailer that I can trust. One that's gonna last me for a long time, gonna last me the amount of miles I put on my truck and the amount of miles I travel around the country. And he knocked it out of the park. So this trailer right here is my upgrade, my next trailer. What happened was my last video that I did of my last Allen the Water Innovations trailer, there was a few things that he saw that I didn't see um, and he upgraded and made things a lot easier. If you guys who watched that video remember, I would crawl up underneath my kayak and, and hook the strap up that strapped the kayak down. And I'm gonna show you his solution to that here in just a minute and a couple of other things and just the upgrades and the cool things that I have on this trailer this year. All right, so this on the water innovations trailer is the Turney Double. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna start off at the front and kind of work my way back and show you guys all the little bells and whistles to this thing. So let's go up front and take a look. Up front, I have uh, a DZ truck box. Okay, now this box is uh, a lot smaller than my last one. My last one, I had it really big, and that's why we needed the extended tongue because I you wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been able to make sharp turns with a bigger box. Well, I realized I really don't need a bigger box, so we went with a smaller one. When uh, when Denny was building this, he always likes to send pictures to me. So and and I always wondered what these little plates were right here. Now, first of all. What they're made for is they're made for mounting these these uh, boat winches, basically to winch your boat up onto your trailer and stuff like that. And the same thing for this one. Uh, we've added some, and you'll see them in a minute, we've added some carpet to the bunk boards. And so it makes it a little bit more difficult to pull that kayak up on the trailer. It protects the, the kayak from the steel on the trailer, but it just makes it more difficult. So the bunk winches really help you run, run them around the, around the handle and just winch the boat up on the trailer the rest of the way. Um, and you know, with my trip, with my kayak, I've got a ton of stuff that I keep on it. Now these little grooves, I was like, what the heck are these? Well, you know, when you're rigging your rods and stuff like that, and you need somewhere to lean your rods up there so they don't fall on the ground, that's kind of what they did. I thought that was pretty cute. All right, so the next thing down right here, this is your safety rope. Um, and mainly, so this is, <laughs> Another one of those bad things that happened to be on the road. I was in Florida and we were, I was backing down a real steep boat ramp and Mike Elsie, another angler, was at the bottom and got to watch this. My old, my homemade safety, uh, safety chain or safety rope somehow had come off. I was using some cheap buckles or cheap uh, cams or whatever and, and it just, it came off and that kayak slid off the trailer and bounced all the way down the boat ramp. Uh, messing up my torpedo, uh, messing up my day of fishing, it just, it sucks. So this is one that Denny makes and it is heavy duty. It's not going anywhere and it's to prevent your kayak from sliding off the trailer as you're backing down the, down the back, backing down the ramp. So, and that safety rope also comes with a stow and deploy rope. So when you're pulling it up back, back up on the trailer, you've got a nice long rope to pull it up on. Um, and basically all I do is I take and I tuck this in the front hatch when I'm when I'm fishing and I just leave it attached to the boat. You can do whatever you want to with it. But plenty of length. It's good for you guys who like to hook this thing up and back it down the tra the ramp and let your boat float off into the water and then pull it back to the ramp. That's how long this thing is. It's perfect for that too. And you just hook it up to that. I mean, it's just really, really nice. Great length of rope and everything else. And it fits really nice and neat right in that box. All right, so the next thing down are these two little buttons right here. These run my work lights and the fancy little LED lights that are up underneath the trailer. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so what you do is you turn your key on your, on your truck, get your power on in your truck, and then you just hit the button, hit the right button. And you've got some nice LED work lights. And early in the morning when you're prepping your kayak and everything else, these things are invaluable. They light up your whole kayak and they make it to where you can get your work done. There's also a light right here inside the box so you can get all your stuff out i know this is a mess but it's actually an organized mess so you got that and then the other button are the red led lights that are up underneath the trailer you're not going to be able to see them right now because it's daylight but that's what they are they look pretty cool may have to get them underneath my truck to match i don't know i'm not all into that pimping world but anyway so let's keep going now the next thing down is the toy lock um now, this is a pretty cool little add-on. 
And what it is, let me pop the lock out. It is a 15 foot long cable that's already locked down to your trailer and you just wrap your kayaks up with them when you're in places where you're worried about them like hotel parking lots and that kind of stuff. And you can lock up your kayaks and don't have to worry about them. And it's, an, it's a retractable 15 foot cable and it's plenty of cable to wrap around two kayaks on this trailer. All right, so the next thing is Denny's solution to my video problem where I was reaching underneath my kayak to hook the strap up to the opposite side so I could strap it down to the kayak. And he saw the video, he's like, no, nah, we can't have that. So what he did was he put these little hooks there's two there's one on each side right here and there's one in the back to hook the straps up to so when you're not using when you're out on the water or you're not using your trailer that strap stows right there and it's strapped to the bottom of the tra of the trailer on the other side where you would normally put a full-size ratchet strap now all he does is right here we have some half inch or, or one inch boat buckles and they're only about 10 feet long so they don't reach all the way over to over the kayak and around the other side and you just reach up, you grab the strap, strap it down, grab your bow buckle. Don't winch these down, these things down super tight, just snug. And they'll loosen up a little bit on the trailer as you go, but that's no big deal. But like I said, there's one here and there's one in the back. And they save you a lot of time by and a lot of knee issues <laughs> reaching up underneath the trailer. Uh, especially when the ground's wet and that kind of stuff, you don't get all wet. But anyway, it's just a really nice thing. And that's kind of things that Denny does. He loves to keep upgrading and, and making his trailers better and better, even the little bitty details that nobody would think of. All right, so somebody's gonna ask about my gas cans. Um, these are for my generator, because I do a lot of off the, uh, off the grid camping and that kind of stuff. Uh, this is an uh, add-on that I put on myself, on my other trailer, and then when I swapped that trailer out for this one, I just uh, we just took them off and put them on here. So that's all that is, is just a, a couple of uh, one and a half gallon gas cans for me to run my generator off the grid. All right, so up here we have two eight inch rod tubes. A lot of you guys are using those Yakima boxes and stuff like that. I don't particularly like them just for the how, how I travel and how I do things. Um, they're really nice. They're nice to be able to put rods and that are already have already have the reels attached into and stuff like that. But I usually just throw those, throw those in the front of my truck and, and I, I just like it that way. So, but eight inch rod tubes, uh, they will hold 35 to 40 rods uh, without reels on them, I think they'll hold. I think I got six rods and reels in them with uh, with the reels attached to the rods, going opposite directions. You have three going this way and three going this way, um, so you can actually put 12 rods in in the two the two tubes. They lock up. They're really good and really stout. But if, if you notice, there's and something that happens with all of them is just gets a little bit of flex in it from the sun and gravity and that kind of thing. But it, this is a lot less than the six inch tube that I made years ago. There's a lot less bend in it. And it's really not a big deal. It's just something to be expected. And it's gonna happen because gravity sucks. Now the biggest thing for me, like I said earlier, is the amount of miles I put on this thing. And so I really needed one with a really good axle, really good tires and that kind of stuff. And, and Denny has knocked it out of the park. These are excellent axles for traveling long distances. I only have to, I, I still, me being me, I'm gonna check them every 30,000 miles and grease them. Uh, and make sure everything is, is okay with the uh, with the bearings and things like, like that. The fender itself, the fender is made out of plastic, um, which is okay. It lightens the trailer up. It They're easily replaced if you ever break them, because I've done that once. Jordan sat there and watched me run into a rock and didn't say anything, didn't scream, uh, didn't yell stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jordan. Um, but anyway, oh, yeah. and I ran it into a rock and, and it was easily, quickly, and, and inexpensively replaced. Uh, so that was no big deal. All right, so let's go around and look at the bunk boards real quick. Now, as, as you notice, and as, as I said before, they've started to carpet the bunk boards, which is really good. It protects the plastic from rubbing on that steel um, and, and preventing it from, from wearing through the, the plastic. So really, really good add on. You can notice that in the sun, the, the carpet has kind of shrunk a little bit, which is amazing. I, it's just one of the cool things. I was just like, I can't believe the, the carpet did that. There's no big deal though. Now, the one of the coolest things on this trailer is this right here. He put a plate right here, drilled a hole in it, dropped a, 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 a rubber washer in there, and it holds the power pole micro spike. And it actually holds it so tight that you really don't need that strap. But we put the strap on there anyway. Um, 
but I can run two power pole micro spikes and keep them stored right there with no issue at all. Uh, I love it. That is the, that, I'm just, that was one of those things where I was like, duh, you know, the only thing is, is I run a, I also have a short spike that doesn't fit in there and I have to put it in the rod, rod tubes or something, but that's, it's only five feet long. Um, the backup lights. Let me guys, let me show you guys the backup lights. All right. So the backup lights, these son of guns are bright. And I love them, especially early in the morning when I'm trying to back down a trailer that I, or I back a trailer down a ramp that I've never been to before. And I'm not very familiar with the ramp. Um, it really does help me uh, get down there and not run into things that I'm not supposed to. But they're bright. I always, they're so bright that I wish I had a, a way to hook it up to a switch in my truck. So when I got somebody too close behind me or I got somebody who's brightened me in the back, I just kind of flip a switch and let them know who's boss. But uh, <laughs> I love these things. Uh, another one of those crazy little custom add-ons that Denny does. Uh, and it's, it's just awesome. I love them. All right, so that, last but not least is the T-bars. Now, this tourney double can haul four kayaks. With these T-bars, you, you look right here. It's got we got a little cap that's capping it right now. But you drop these key bar these T-bars down into those those holes, and then it's got a bolt that bolts through them and, and holds them down. And I can put two other kayaks when I'm when I'm up, you know, like when I'm I'm shuttling uh, people in uh, in a river run or I'm taking my family out and that kind of stuff. That's what these T-bars are for. And uh, I don't use them very often. They stay in my in my barn. And if I'm not if I'm not using them just to cut down on wind drag and that kind of stuff. But I love them, man. This trailer is everything that I need for what I'm doing. All right, so that's my On The Water Innovations tourney double. Um, I just wanted to show that to you guys. This is uh, probably gonna be my kayak for the next, or my kayak trailer for the next couple of years. I hope you enjoyed this video, but like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go and catch some fish, and have a great day. We'll see you.